Hey everybody, it's time for more Path of Exile, where we are currently sitting next to a nice happy campfire in the nice happy dark forest where there are a bunch of happy little trees and hopefully a Templar that doesn't get killed by whatever goes bump in the darkness. Because this is hardcore Path of Exile, one death means that's it. And already I'm thinking, oh gosh, I did not equip the new flask I got. I've upgraded my weapon, already taken a crap ton of damage, and I'm not sure what I did to deserve that. So we'll just try and roll with it. Said I'm using right now something that unfortunately isn't letting me use one of my gems, but it's a damage increase over what I was using before. So, our goal here is pretty much just to find the waypoint in the Dark Forest, and then we're going to go group up and see what we can take out on the other side of the Act 2 map. Because Act 2 has a fork in the road, you can go left or right, and actually we made it to the waypoint pretty quick. So that's good news. We started here. We're going to go back to the forest encampment. And I don't think we have too much new to do other than maybe to take these flasks. I'm really tempted to do something with them, but I think right now we're just hoarding flasks and hoarding crafting materials. I guess that's what you do in games like this. I mean, we do have stuff we can use. But I do want to just keep as much as I can in the stash in case... One bad encounter is all I need to have this guy relegated to the default league, and he's a fun character. And I'd probably still mess with him even in the default league, but for this Let's Play, that would be the last you'd see of Broken Humanity 2. So let's see if we got any White Beast quest going on here. It doesn't look like we do. We have some Chamber of Sins. That's not a surprise. So let's just make a new... let's make a new party. White Beast Act 2. That should get somebody's attention. Or you could say, oh, that's racist. No, it's the name of the quest. Okay, so we're heading... or not back up here. We're going to the Old Fields. Old Fields has a lot going on it, but it's a level 16 zone. I'm level 17. In case you want to see where my build is right now, I was debating going for Elementalist by jumping straight through, but... After reevaluating, I think I'm going to go try and take these first and then just pop up this way because this is a lot more elemental damage and it's elemental damage for everything versus just 18 lightning damage. And our goal is going to actually be, before we go to Elementalist, is to get fitness. So no one's joining my party, although Chocoholic who is my buddy from somewhere. Oh, hello, Rowan Titan. You resist lightning. You don't resist that. So let's see here. I do have a friends list, and it's full of people who... Huh. Interesting. I'm playing hardcore mode. And I'm all alone, looking for a cave. Let's see, ringmail boots, that's pretty good armor. It's not great sockets. I mean, I'll get some better green socket gems eventually, I'm sure. But for now, we've just got to do what we can to take out as much as we can. And we got our, our strategy, like I said before, is really trying to rally a bunch of people. But when it's elite mobs like this... As they're stunning or interrupting me a little bit. I guess the other thing is that we just don't... We want to prioritize living. So if we can do this perfect, great. If not, we'll just take down guys one by one. Because things get progressively more dangerous. We get rocks coming up out of nowhere. Your energy shield getting taken down, you get 
regular enemy is getting frenzy charges now, and I'm getting slowed by somebody. So it looks like I got a little monkey dude chasing me here. So let's see if I can, how badly I can screw this up. Maybe this will be a short episode. Hey, Viper Fangs, you're dead. Would probably be better if I did things like actually increase my mana by drinking flasks. So I'll take the carb one. And do you summon? Yeah, you you call for help. So superior strapped leather. We do want those stones. We don't want a bunch of archers shooting me down. Which is exactly what we've walked into. But I should be able to lightning strike them down because Lord knows if there's one thing this build is doing so far, it is laying on the hurt. Those projectiles are supposed to kind of do less damage, but... I need to double check and see how much extra damage I have stacked just based on my items. It's got to be at least 50 on my equipment, maybe another 50 from the gem. So let's see here, I have weapon elemental damage, which is 62% more. My weapon gives me 24 increased elemental damage. My belt, another 17. So almost double the elemental damage possible. In other words, things are going to hurt in a hurry. And I have a good reach with lightning strike. So that's a plus. Like I said, I'm looking for the white beast, which is a cave, and I'm a little surprised no one else has joined this game so far. Maybe it's not really prime time in New Zealand. I don't know. But we are going to try and make some things cold. Wow, that was an interesting desync and resync. So we could have death by lag here. If we do, that's okay. That's just part of the game. Part of what makes hardcore interesting is that you can't control everything. So good. See, we can try and control the hordes of rage-infected monkeys coming after us. So I'm going to call those green orbs. And now that they're surrounding me, they're just going to have to all die. My mana is spent. And just knock one out. See, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with uh, our mana regen situation here. And Kiritan Scout's gonna eat dirt. Interesting that you have so many scouts just standing out on the open, or I guess on a hill. There we go. Someone joined our party, so now we get to portal them, if I don't. So the, hey, now we got somebody. We don't have to do this all alone. And there we go. I was about to say, please don't tell me you're going forever. We're not going to the crossroads. And he's got stuff floating around him because he just drank a running potion. So we're going to see who we can wrap up around here. Okay. And he found the cave, so good to have an extra set of eyes because I ran right past it. I am so smart. And I think I still missed it. There we go. Should actually look at my map. So right here, he left the area again. Oh, okay. So we need a new instance. I'm going to be going for the one that Orc is in. Okay. As long as this is one where there's actually things to kill. 
It looks like it is. It sounds like there is. So let's see how this build does in a multiplayer situation. So I do a lot of damage. Which will be nice, because this is going to get crowded in a hurry. It looks like he's a bow shadow with lightning arrows, so... You might synergize pretty well. And we get someone else. Alright. Now we're in business. Or monkey business, even. Okay, so I just ran into a group of enemies. This could turn out pretty bad. Fortunately, I think I was able to grab that Orb of Chance in time. Yeah. Orbs of Chance are good. Orbs of Chance are something I'm not gonna waste stuff on. So, wow, that was probably the fastest I've ever made it here. My mana is spent. So we'll just do our single target Glacial Strike. With extra damage. And not a lot else. Hey, that was easy. And we get a reward. More importantly, we get another skill. I could go for the regen, but 1% regen is not going to help us. Like, 10% increased elemental damage. So we're going to go for Catalyze and all that there. Okay, so apparently he picked up... What did he pick up? Interesting. That would actually be kind of useless for me, because I'm not really going for that, but... I will say nice anyway, because it's always nice to see a unique. I've actually only had one drop for me, and it's one that doesn't do me a lot of good. So our next goal now is to make it to the crossroads. Level 18, so... We may want to level a little bit in the crossroads, as I'm going the wrong way. And we'll see if we can get to the uh, Cavern of Sin. Now we're going to have a bunch of people joining because they expect that this is a... what because that happened and is over. But we do have Bone Cruncher. Hi. So let's see what we can rally around here. Remembering that I have... Okay, did you kill the white beast yet? Yes. We just did. But you too can. I don't know why you're LOLing it. Basic communication skills. It's LOL worthy. So, I wonder if that's my aura or his aura. We do have the waypoint. And I think I'm going to go back to town. And I'm going to see what I can do about Chamber of Sin Run. So, leave the party. I know I don't need to do that here, but I could just do that from the social panel, which is something that took me way too long to figure out. So, Carved Wand, not bad. Tarnished Mask, not bad. Superior Set of Leather. We'll go with our uh, Superior Trash Pile. That I think I've already accidentally sold out of. Gold Ring, what's the item level on that? Uh, level 19 ring. You know what? Let's try it. Let's uh, let's see what we can get. Ah, uh, four life when you kill an enemy. Uh, that's not bad. But I think I can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa! This is neither the time nor the place. No, I guess it's not. All right, so reforges. You know, it's not that valuable of a ring. We don't really need the cold resist right now, so we'll just. Do that. Whoa. So let's see here. What kind of shards are we getting here? We're getting transmutation shards. If we identify these babies, we'll be getting alteration shards, which is what we want. A little more valuable than transmute shards. 
Well, unless, of course, you happen to get a crappy padded jacket. But we want those for altering your gears. Yay! So Pretty easy. Change. So let's see here. Vow, vow, veil. River crossing. Which is something we'll get to. Alaria, which we'll get to. So let's see here. There's White Beast Act 2 with a bunch of people in there. Veiled Oak. So we're going to create another party, and this will just be Chamber of Sin Act 2, because sometimes the simplest names for their party what are would the you like to know? most effective. So we'll get this blacksmith whetstone in there, and this in there, and I don't... <coughs> excuse me. Oh, that's, that's not how we want to stack our items. Yeah, I've I've got no, no other upgrades kind of in the queue where I may have picked it up from another run, so... Let's go back to the crossroads, and we'll make the way of the chamber ourselves. As we see, other, other bodies have already... Other bodies just already laying around. Is this... that's not linked. Quartz scepter, like quiver. It looks like other people are already making their way to the chamber of sin, but I'd rather do it my way. One could say. So we are using a shit ton of mana every time we beat the crap out of people. But we regen it pretty quickly as well. So here is our Chamber of Sin, but that southern style. And this could get ugly. There are a lot of archers. The lair of a toy maker with pretensions of godhood. Uh huh. So I was kind of hoping to do this with some buddies here. Would you like to be my buddy on this game? People who are watching. So. Okay, so we got a necromancer from the start. There is one shtick about this zone, is that there are a ton of people summoning. And if you don't take care of them, manageable situations can become unmanageable in a hurry. We get spiders and undead. Oh my. But we also have glacial hammer, leveling, and wrath. That's nice. Hello, Ice Shadow, just in the nick of time. So, hey, you all just get in from the ground floor up. And now things are gonna hurt a lot more. So there's a Ethereal Knife Shadow, kind of what I was trying to do last time. Although, to be honest, I didn't know what I was doing at all, and I have no idea what that aura means. 